to Flipper Flicks where you never know what you're going to get. Ah! I'm Sam. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There'll be a great noise. There's it's a great a... noise in there, Tim. You'll hear it later. It is low Perfect. hanging fruit. I had to do it. <laughs> yeah. It's the classic. One of the classics, you know? Yeah. Wait. I guess I. I what? Wait. Did she say it? Yeah. You yeah. did? Yeah. I, I heard name? the. I was I couldn't remember short term memory loss problems. Oh my gosh! He's, He's got to double check your work. Yeah, time. apparently QA my work. Why don't discount double check it out loud? Um, but I am Tim, and we are on social media, as you may know. Are we? Uh, not recently. Not recently, but mostly yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we exist. Mostly Instagram and Twitter. You know, so go there, check us out, follow along, see so what we're watching for the week. Uh, you can also find us on Anchor, Spotify, Apple, and other streaming platforms, uh, more like podcast platforms, But because this is a podcast. We don't stream. We don't do that. Uh, not yet, we don't. No, yeah, we don't. <laughs> we make a lot of promises. I know. <laughs> One of these days. One day we'll One be camera days. ready. Yeah, yeah. One but today day. is not that day. One day we'll be oh, old as hell, day. and that's when we'll decide to stream. <laughs> yeah. Get off my lawn. It'll we be like virtual reality. Yeah. Yeah. We drop episodes every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sometimes there's a bonus episode that we drop as well, so it's, that's why it's important to follow us on social media. Um, you can also give us recommendations or just chat with us on social media, or you can go to our website, flipperflix.com. Check that out. Drop in some recommendations. And if you feel like reviewing us, I guess Spotify has it now. And uh, Apple's always had it. So yeah, look drop like that it. star. Apple I, or five of yeah. them, please. <laughs> not just one. <laughs> I know. Um, no, it, I think, yeah, Apple's always had that. Mm -hmm. Apple has, yeah. Like, I think back when I used to watch Happy Tree Friends. When a video, when I thought podcasts only had video, always had video, when they first came out, because I watched Happy Tree Friends and it was released as a podcast form and it was a video podcast, and it really fucked with my head. And sure. did you rate each episode? No. Oh, okay. I Me thought rate where stuff. That was going. I don't rate shit. Wah, wah. Actually, I'll rate hotels. That's about it. Let um, the people know. Yeah. So I'm Adam. Hi, Adam. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. How are you feeling today? Mm, pretty good. Nice. I'm feeling dandy. Uh, so this week we rolled, uh, spun and rolled, whatever we want to call it. Whoops, I missed the boat. And yeah, so this whole category, the idea, this whole category was stemmed because I wanted to watch this movie for the podcast. Let's let's start <laughs> there. But he didn't want to choose it. He wanted a reason to watch it. I wanted to be shamed. I wanted to. Some point. <laughs> well, yeah, probably. I feel like there's some shame associated with this one for me. Mm. Uh, because so you just wanted to come out and be like, shame. Yeah, I'm shaming shame. myself. Mm. Anyway, so yeah, Forrest Gump. You know, that 1994 classic, also known as my brother's favorite movie of all time. Mm. And Interesting. yeah, it's, it's his favorite movie. So I think there was a point in my life where I decided, no way am I watching this. <laughs> as is tradition with siblings yeah i know <laughs> but let me get into the um, synopsis before i get into my expectations a gentle friendly man navigates through the major events of the 1960s and 70s inspiring those around him with his perpetual optimism where do we watch this one netflix for the next seven days and then this episode <laughs> will likely air after it leaves so, <laughs> so i don't know where if you haven't seen forrest come you're shit out of luck. I it's don't probably know gonna go to like Paramount Plus. Yeah, probably. Because it's gonna be. There's no on. way it doesn't go to some other streaming thing. Exactly. Well, yeah, it's a Paramount film. Paramount Plus is trying to increase their people's. You their also films. probably yeah. have this on VHS or DVD. Oh, they a lot of people probably do have it on VHS. Yeah, actually. But don't know if you can still watch it, but I bet it's in your house somewhere. <laughs> in a box in your attic, might have melted. Who knows? Uh, but my expectations. So, hey, guess what? This movie is a bit well-known. Yeah, just a bit. Just a bit, right? Like, a few people have seen it, I guess, and, like, it won a few awards, and, like, people use... We, some people use their music in their wedding, even though they haven't seen it. <laughs> I don't know who would do that. Yeah. Uh, dot, dot, dot. Um, 
Yeah, no, I was expecting to like it, I guess. Let's I'll be real, because it's a drama with Tom Hanks. So then why did mm-hmm. you avoid it for so long? To annoy my brother. Oh, that's literally the crux of it. Yeah, it literally is. The whole reason I didn't watch <laughs> it was just to annoy him. Because And my dad a little bit. Um, they'd be like, how have you not watched it? You've seen so many movies. I'm like, exactly. It's kind of like part of me. It was part of me. Very so spiteful long. and petty. Yeah. I was going to say pettiness level through the roof. Oh, yes. A hundred percent. Also, I always jokingly said the reason why I didn't watch it is because it's like six hours long. It's only like two <laughs> hours and 20 minutes. It's not like Sam and I just watched Triple R. That's straight up three hours. Yeah. We did watch it in two halves, though. Mm-hmm. Some of us were fading. Anyway. Oh, yeah. So continuing on. <laughs> Uh, ba, ba, da, ba. yeah, I was expecting to like it. Okay. Who wants to go next? Sam. Okay. Um, <laughs> I have seen this movie. Shocker. What? But I haven't seen it a lot. I'll be honest. Like I've probably only before watching it, I'd probably only see it like one or two times, but I know it was on TV a lot. And so I don't want to say I haven't seen it a lot. Like I've seen parts of it a lot because it's like always on TV and so inevitably somebody ends up stopping and you see parts of it. So like there's a couple parts that I'm really familiar with. And then there's a lot that I haven't seen um, in the middle, like enough to be able to be like, oh, yeah, that happens. So I was, I don't know, kind of excited, but not really. because Like I know what to expect. Mm-hmm. I guess I was more excited to see Adam's thoughts than anything because he's been holding out for so long. Yeah, I showed up. I watched it, Tim. <laughs> Sat down. <laughs> um, yeah, kind of like you. Like it's one of those movies where you you have to be in the mood to watch it. Yeah. Like especially if you've definitely. seen it before, it, it's definitely like uh, it doesn't grab your attention until you're sitting there watching it. Exactly. Um, so it's like you're scrolling through and you're like halfway through the movie, you're like, oh, it's Forrest Gump, and you just watch the rest of it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, so there are definitely parts that. Uh, I didn't remember, but uh, and, and at the same time, I was kind of like dreading stopping, like sitting down to watch this yeah. a little bit <laughs> it's because I was like, you know, I like this. Uh, yeah, I like this film, but it does feel like it's it's you're gonna age watching it, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, <Definitely>. uh, <laughs> I mean, I wasn't unexcited to watch it, but I was definitely like, I've seen this movie. You know, it's a good movie. I know I just need to sit down and watch it and I'll be into it. Yeah. So it's yeah. the whole production beforehand where you're like, God yeah. damn it, I gotta watch it again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We've had that. I have to before. watch it all the way through. Yeah. You know. There's like the grumpy walk around. Oh my gosh, I gotta sit down and watch this. <laughs> Where's my notebook? Oh my god. <laughs> right. Where I where can I take Because no- I'm gonna yeah. age five days. Like, <laughs> Can't, you, is there enough time for a nap for like a mid mid movie nap? Right. Shit, no. We're recording in two and a half hours, and this movie ends in two hours and twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, lots going on. I feel like we we're gonna get a lot of haters after this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Um. So going in. Yeah. Where do we want to start? So I, I'm going to just go ahead and start with the life is like a box of chocolates quote. Mm-hmm. Thought that was going to be like 75% of the way into the film. No. <laughs> it's like immediately. Yeah, it literally is immediately. Like the first fucking scene. Yeah. Yep. And I was like, oh, well, all right, guys, we've wrapped this up. We've seen the scene. We don't need to watch the rest of it. That's the main right. quote. Yeah. Time to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I've seen the movie now. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, so like obviously like there are parts of this movie that I know about. It's not it's not like right. I'm unknowledge like I'm knowledgeable of this film. Like I could have told you who Lieutenant Dan was. I could have told you about Baba. Could have told you about Janai. <laughs> I could have told you a lot about this movie. I just haven't watched the events happen. The internet's mm-hmm. a wonderful thing. It is. It is. Also, um, the Beaufort Film Festival. Uh, loves this movie because a lot of this movie is in our area. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Bayou. A, a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah. And they use the score in between, like, so in between movies, right? You'll sit down, you'll watch a short film, you watch whatever, and then they'll play, like, this interim, like, it's like trailers to movies that were done in South Carolina. Mm-hmm. And they use the score from Forrest Grump. So I'm sitting here, like, 
having flashbacks to being like, let me go get some popcorn, take a bathroom break. Yeah, every time like that, there's like a the score that uh, yeah, yeah. There's like there's a score that goes throughout the film that I just know so perfectly now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's like, oh That's dang. Interesting. Oh, I actually dang. didn't know that that was from Forrest Gump. Like, I started hearing it, and I was like, oh, God. Oh, I'm no. At the film oh, no. <laughs> I love the film festival. That's really funny conditioning. That's yeah. Weird. Yeah. Like, it's, the film festival, it's a great, like, four, five, five days? Five days. It's a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a lot of movies. So you hear this transition a lot. Yeah. And I feel like it was hard to, like, put it in context because, like, I don't know it. Like, I haven't seen this movie enough to know, like, oh, this is from Forrest Gump. So, yeah. like, I know right. it more in my real life than the movie. So, I, like, couldn't take it seriously <laughs> at some points when it's supposed to be, like, really getting you. Because there's no knock on the music. Like, the music is Oh, it's is beautiful good. music. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's like, got good use of it. And then there's points where it doesn't use any music that's good. Yeah. yeah. And so, like, it's clearly trying to get you to feel something. And I'm like, it's not working mm. for me right now, bro. But I will say, like, the feather theme... Is very pretty. It's very well known. Yeah, that was the one we used in our wedding. Oh, was it? Yeah, mm. not the other one. Um. Well, yeah, no, not the not the score. I would think I would know that one. Yeah, and the, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like, there's good music, and then they also have like the music, the Vietnam War music, for lack of the, a better yeah. word. Yeah. No, it's literally <laughs> how people know it. They hear that yeah. and they're like, "Oh yeah, time to go." To, you know, that's like. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, Tim. Sam and I have this argument once every memorial day i don't know why we always listen to we listen to like oldie oldie like old classic rock and sure. sam's like ccr is not vietnam war music it's ccr and i'm like it's vietnam war music <laughs> yeah pretty much well. here's the thing though i thought they slapped as a kid and i never saw a vietnam war movie as a kid and so i'm always like nice ccr and people are like why are we listening to this why are we listening to some vietnam <laughs> yeah. war movie music right? so i'm like very much like alone in that camp probably yeah and i would say that the 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 issue with the not it's not an issue but like the thing with the score is Uniquely to people who have sat through the Buford Film Festival the entire week. Yeah. And it's not a problem. Like I said, it's just a unique thing. Mm-hmm. Right. Which is kind of kills the word unique if a multiple. But anyways, um, let me see. Wait, oh, why did I write? Wait, what? what is this called again? Oh, shit. That's why. Sam and I sat down to watch this film. Mm-hmm. And you know how, Tim, we were talking about like, oh, I was kind of dreading it because it's a long movie, and Sam yeah. sat down because we always title our piece of papers with the movie name. She said, "Wait, what was this movie called again?" <laughs> like it was serious. <laughs> if that tells you anything about my mindset going into this film, I was like, "Wait, what movie? What? What's what going on?" And then I was like, "Oh, this movie." All it's right, like I had gone. to recondition myself all over again. Right. It's terrible. Oh no! I know. But like, I learned that this movie was an adapted screenplay. I always thought it was like its own thing. I didn't know there was a book. Me yeah, neither. book. Yeah. yeah. Was it called Forrest Gump? I don't know. You didn't mm-hmm. do that level of research. That was effort, and yeah. it said the book title at some point, and I was like, Yeah, I'm sure it did. In the I should jot that down. <laughs> I did not. I just know that I kept getting like super excited for random like shit like. In the film, um, they're like, "Yeah, it's just down Route 17." I'm like, "Ah, yeah, that's where I live. I'm <laughs> sure right off 17." <laughs> like, in I don't think the roads are dirt anymore, but no, definitely not. I well, mean, my actually, road is. Yeah, I was gonna say. Let me we take live off a of gravel back. road. Jeez. Yeah. And I would say, like, if you're going to visit the state parks in South Carolina, a solid chunk of them are off dirt roads. Yeah. So, okay, take that's that back. Fair. We didn't modernize. <laughs> <laughs> we still live. In the past, we are only <laughs> ranked fine. 50th in road in like highways so in the US. So. That, that tells you that we should have known that there would be dirt roads. <laughs> yeah, his house is um the the Gump House is actually it's not too far from us, even though it doesn't oh, exist dang. anymore. Um, yeah, they built it for this movie and then they tore it down immediately after. That's so weird. That is very weird to me. It feels like you could have. I mean, I guess I don't know how things worked at this time, but it feels like you could have gotten permission to film at somewhere like the Title House, which is like right. similar looking, and it's where like the Great Santini and the Big Chill and a lot of places have been filmed. It feels yeah. like you could have gotten permission 
to get like a historical house look like that so that you wouldn't have to build and tear down something <laughs> like that's right. so odd to me but that's very weird. i don't know maybe it was hard and they just wanted to do it there's had something to have been very a specific yeah. yeah 1990s problems yeah so odd we were we were yeah. like little kids then we wouldn't we didn't understand the world right yeah. <laughs> so the, so the, in this movie there's actually a lot of like you're kind of you're watching the movie but you're kind of supposed to be as knowledgeable as gump right so like there's points in the movie where um we kind of talked brianna and i kind of talked about this where it's like there's a lot of implications in the movie because gump doesn't understand fully like he'll say something and you find it funny because you know, like the Watergate scene or whatever. Yeah, he's like talking about like. So there's a lot of like implications. Or like Jenny, she clearly got sick from AIDS. AIDS, <laughs> but they yeah. don't say it. Like stuff like that. There's a ton of that kind of stuff in it. That it's it's very interesting. I think how it's written, how the viewer sees it, because you're kind of supposed to know. But I wonder at the time when the movie came out, how much of those things. I guess it's just. I mean, those things would have happened years beforehand, obviously, um, yeah. and been somewhat knowledgeable. So I don't know. I guess I'm going on a wrong tangent there. I was going to say how much of it would have been recognizable when it came out. But like as a kid watching it, I wouldn't have known all of it. I do remember like when I first watched this movie, I understood what Watergate was. I understood what you were at um, least in like seventh grade. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it, I, I understood, you know, AIDS and stuff like I understood that kind of I think. But um I don't know. I don't know if I would have caught that as a kid. I don't know if some yeah, adults I'm, I'm would catch that. that now. Yeah. Uh, I would say though, during when this movie was made in '94 mm -hmm. or released and whatever, uh, I would say that people would have caught the AIDS thing a lot more because it was a lot more prevalent in right. the news and everything. Yeah, because I was gonna say I did not know. I you guys just revealed that to me. <laughs> Apparently, oh, I was AIDS. supposed to know that. Yeah. I mean, it, it's implied, Oops. right? Yeah. She, they never she come out and say lots it. of drugs. Yeah. And stuff no, like it makes that, total so. sense. But like, mm -hmm. I just it whooshed over my head, and I think yeah. part of it is like, I was actually going to make the argument. I can't decide, Tim, if it would have been like lesser known back then, because it feels like okay, if it just happened, like there's a solid right. chunk of people that would know it. Whereas as you get further away, like there's a chance that people wouldn't know some of these things. But yeah. I kind I don't know. Like if you're young enough, like there's no way. I I mean I didn't catch the AIDS thing, and I know I didn't catch it when I was a kid. And like mm. I don't honestly know. Like I can't remember when I watched this movie, so I don't know if I would have caught like the Watergate thing. Like maybe I would have. Like, obviously, mm. as an adult, I did, but I'm just wondering, like, depending on when this came out and when I would have seen it, like, there is definitely stuff that, like, if you're young enough, you wouldn't catch it. Right. And I think that's still honestly kind of true today because oh, even yeah. though I, you know I, history, if you're young enough, you're not going to. But go ahead. Tim. Yeah. I think there's probably this generation now of kids coming up. They probably wouldn't know what the Watergate shit is. I don't know if that's even taught anymore, right? Like, I have no idea. I have no idea what they're taught these days. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I, I really before. wonder how much of this film would go over somebody's head. Yeah. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wanna... don't know. There's just a lot of that kind of subtle stuff in the movie, well, and it's pretty – it's funny. And, like, um, when he goes up and do, does his speech for, like, the like <laughs> the speech that gets, like, can't – not canceled, but, like, pulled. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't – so I recognized the dude speaking, but I couldn't remember his name. The only right. reason I know who he is, Abby Hoffman, is because of the trial of Chicago Another Seven. Movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's played by Sasha Baron Cohen. Um, so I was like, "Wait, what? That I think that's him, and it was him." Right. Yeah. So that's yeah. like to your point, Tim, that there's so much subtlety in some of it that, like, if you weren't as close to those events, like I would argue, as an adult, like you wouldn't mm -hmm. have caught it as a kid, and the only way you'd catch it now is if you somehow educated yourself some other way. Right. Yeah. You got like John Lennon and stuff and yeah. everything. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just kind of. Like, he's like, and then he was shot for some reason. You know. It's yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you catch all that shit. It's just like and then it, it's weird because it's other funny. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> he says the but, way he says it is funny. But... It's the way. Yeah. Exactly. Because he doesn't realize like what happened. No, he has no idea. Um. But when we're, when he's up giving the speech, he actually had he said words. He wasn't just mouthing random shit. No, yeah, he did. Yeah, he, he gave has, like an actual speech. Yeah, and here it goes. Oh, nice. 
Sometimes when people go to Vietnam, they go home to their mamas without any legs. Sometimes they go home, they don't go home at all. That's a bad thing. That's all I have to say about that. Oh wow. It's actually pretty sad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like but it's it's very like on the nose for him, right? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. no. It makes a hundred like it's a perfect quote for him. Yeah, it's his experience. <laughs> it's yeah. quite literally Bubba and Lieutenant Dan. Yeah. That dude saved like six guys' lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's just insane. Kept, I just kept going back. <laughs> I just kept I just Somebody did what I did best. Forrest. Run, Forrest, run. I can't leave Bubba the way he li- says that line. It like oh, it's, it's hard. heartbreaking. It's, you know, yeah, it's so uh poor Bubba. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the first running scene though, these little asshole kids, like Oh what the right? fuck. Yeah. Dude, they're just well, I mean kids picking on kids. I know, you know, I know. Um I can't say I threw rocks at people, but um, <laughs> No. <laughs> Me but either. Also, these kids are the slowest bicyclists in the fucking world. Yeah. The car's even slower. <laughs> I know. I know. How does that happen? <laughs> he, he, he's it's like right on his ass at one point, and then the next scene he's like he's gone. You know, ten yards away from it. And then it, when they when he cuts off the road, he's like fifty yards away from the truck. <laughs> I know. Like, wait, what? So at <laughs> some points apparently cool. they had a um a double come in for Tom Hanks yeah, doing yeah. some of the running scenes. Um, yeah. they try. They had like five or six. Like I don't know how many. They just had multiple doubles come in, but they couldn't replicate the run. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Tom Hanks had to do all his running. <laughs> no, they called in. He called his brother up, and his brother did that run. And he's like, nobody runs as stiff like a Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my goodness. Was so. Was Tom Hanks. Like, was this his first big film? No. Big. Oh, yeah, yeah, big Oh, the big. 80s. That's right. That's right. That I would guess that was his first big movie. Like his breakthrough sort of movie? Yeah, okay. Back when he had, like, full, like, flow going. Yeah. But yeah. he is really young in this. Oh, yeah. He is, yeah. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, because I feel <laughs> like you only odd. see old Hanks. Well, that's not even true, because, like... I've we, seen him a lot. I've seen him a lot, too. Yeah. But, like, it, like, when I think of Tom Hanks right now, it's, like... Tom Hanks in his current state versus like Forrest Gump. Yeah, I think of him as uh, uh, Castaway. Nice. That's that's the one that always comes to mind. Yeah. yeah. I think for me, well said. It's Woody. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't be shocked. <laughs> Woody, oh, so, yeah. so there, there's a line where he Adam didn't see the world in cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> yes, that is true. Uh, no, so there's one scene where he says, "I forget. I think I might have wrote it down. Let me." Re- Screw, um, scroll through my notes real quick. <laughs> Where's oh. the soundboard? <laughs> right. <laughs> Need to load that I, in. <laughs> the when he screams, I gotta find Bubba. Yeah. That line in particular, he didn't like use the heavy accent, mm. and he sounded a lot like Woody. Because mm. the movies were made around the same time, so his voice was yeah. very like super similar. Yeah. And yeah, I could see what you're saying. Interesting. Yeah. So. I couldn't watch Tom Hanks in movies for like when I first became an adult and was paying attention to people like actual actors rather than just watching stuff go boom. Um, <laughs> I Cause like if I like, I couldn't go to sleep to a movie with him in it because all I could imagine was Woody. Right. Cause that was my main, what I heard him as. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That's fair. But if I had to envision him, it'd be catch me if you can. <sighs> hmm. We've watched quite a few Tom Hanks movies. Yeah, I feel like we have. Yeah. (laughs) Didn't we just watch something with him in it? I don't know. I saw the Elvis movie with him in it. Oh, yeah, Elvis. (laughs) Oh, which Elvis is in this movie. Yeah. Elvis is in this movie. Yeah. Voiced by Kurt Russell. (laughs) Kurt Russell does his voice, Elvis's voice. Yeah, that's there's interesting. There's so many like little things that he's a part of that's just like funny, and it reminds me. It's sad, but it reminds me of the Sunny episode where they're like, oh. "You're not Forrest Gump. You weren't at every <laughs> event of the 20th century or whatever." And it's like I <laughs> so, don't know. It's like, funny. Like I said, I've never seen Forrest Gump, but I understood that quote, like right. from Sunny. But yeah. like, it's really funny because in this movie, I don't know. I guess props to Sunny as usual that they like put them in kind the of the same way that, that like 
Forrest is in like some of the things mm-hmm. where he's just in the background, like chilling. Like, I gotta pay. Right. Yeah, they do the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> Which I want to say, like drinking fifteen Dr. Peppers is an ad. That was move. great. Like, <laughs> okay, I think I could have done that. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of you. That was great. Well, it's really funny too because in a lot of it, you know, he's just like edited into the scene. Of yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> But if you watch their mouths, it's actually pretty well done. You can tell that it's, it's fake, but it, it's pretty well done. Yeah, like <laughs> that was entertaining to me. That whole shenanigans. Uh, yeah, Lyndon B. Johnson laughing at his butt. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> the guy, the guy used to hang dong, and just walking around the White House. So somebody flashing his butt probably isn't the worst he's seen. Right. True. Um. Well, it's also funny that uh, Rihanna and I were talking about this. She she apparently had to watch this in history class because there's so many events in it around history. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and I she could actually see that. that's where I could she see saw that. it. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty funny. I bet they don't watch Forrest Gump in history class anymore. Probably. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> uh, so they should. Yeah. So Bubba at one point is talking. First off, the podcast episode that we're gonna do where Tim just reads off all the podcasting platform names. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be just like Baba reading, saying all the shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, now I wish I were down like him just talking about yeah. it. <laughs> I thought about it, but I was like, that's effort. There's so yeah. much, so many shrimp. He just shrimp goes packs. and goes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But at one point, he's like, there's, there's got to be some shrimp in these waters. Like when he's, like when he's in Vietnam. Yeah, good. Viet- we take over. We take control. You know, Vietnam. Be good, good shrimping or something like that. Yeah, and. It was really funny. So that's in Hunting Island, like Hunting Island State Park, which Sam mm. and I have gone to plenty. I can guarantee you there are shrimp in those waters. Yeah. <laughs> there are. Because the shrimp boats, like if you go to the beach. You see um, the shrimp boats. You see the shrimp boats. And certain times of year, they can come as close to the coast as like they want. So they're pretty close. Yeah. So. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's really funny. So it's like, I was like to myself, knowing where this movie was filmed, I'm like, uh-huh. Yep. There's definitely, there's definitely shrimp there. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> Benjamin Buford Blue. Yeah. <laughs> and that so a me... little funny side note. Uh we all worked at a theme park and there was a restaurant called Bubba Gumps. Indeed. And it's in yep, thirty three countries funny. worldwide. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Dang. I don't know. Yeah, it's still a thing. I've seen yeah. it outside of uh I don't remember where I saw it where it wasn't It's in Universal like too. Island, but yeah. Yeah, I saw it somewhere else. But, but let's be real. It makes a lot of sense why it was at our place. Yeah. At the island, seeing as they were owned by Paramount. Mm-hmm. Yep. And this is a Paramount film. Yeah. That's why we also had rides called Top Gun. I think I yeah. only ate at Bubba Gump like one time. Gotta Zero. I have never been there. How many times did uh, you yeah. eat there, Tim? A bit. I, because I worked across. Oh, that's true. All yeah. right, all right, all right. <laughs> Sometimes at a pinch, I would just go there and yeah. Better question: How many times did you eat La Rosa's pizza <laughs> in the cafeteria? A lot. How many? How many shifts did that I work? Like that many. Of it. Yeah. I couldn't tell you what I ate in the cafeteria. You drank coffee. You didn't eat lunch. Uh, that wasn't true all the time. I ate sometimes. As Dude, you can their see, their blue ice cream is good. <laughs> oh, the blue ice cream. I went back and forth. There were years that I liked it, years that I was like, eh. Maybe they changed the recipe. I doubt they did. <laughs> was it just vanilla? I feel like it was. Like, I want some just to know if it's like blue, vanilla. Like blueberry yeah, or actually I'm pretty sure vanilla. it was just literally colored. Tim, vanilla. we need you to do some R&D and let us know if it's still as good. They're still <laughs> open, dude. Okay. You can oh, make it. You fine. can make it, man. <laughs> we'll throw you on um the phone and just keep recording. <laughs> and then you gotta eat some bubba gump and let us know how that is too yeah. oh yeah guys yeah. it's still pretty good here <laughs> and then then we'll record you writing um uh diamond back mm-hmm. oh yeah that one that looks that's a great ride i've never ridden it all these promises we won't keep i know right Sorry, ferrets <laughs> all right our ferrets <laughs> look at sam remembering stuff mm-hmm. what's the word sam yeah absolutely Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, ferrets. <laughs> Just keep adding on to it. <laughs> but there are some good quotes in this movie, besides the obvious. There are lots, yeah. Um, the Lieutenant Dan legs and whatever. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of ones that are always out there. But and then one of the ones that I liked that's like 
I don't know. It just reminds me of like a Forrest Gumpism. Is he's like? Uh, Did you just say a For- Forrest Gumpism? Mm-hmm. I like it. It's probably a thing <laughs> on the internet. Sorry. Continue. <laughs> um, he talks about how there's big old fat rain. <laughs> Big old yeah. fat oh, rain, there's what? sideways rain, <laughs> yeah. there's sideways some... rain. <laughs> you know like, he's 100% right. This is right. great. Like, oh, God, big old fat the... rain. <laughs> big old fat rain. This is how he says it, big old fat rain. It's so funny because it's true. <laughs> it, it is true. <laughs> Nobody talks about that quote. I like that one. Uh, That's a yes, good quote. I forgot to write that down. I meant to. <laughs> that one's funny. Yep. All right, so what did you think of Jenny? I was waiting for it. I feel um, like it should be discussed. Oh, okay. But yeah. I just was curious about your both of your opinions. No, I'm curious about yours first. Yeah, you're you're the new My one. mind is tainted though cuz I've read everything on the internet. Okay, well you can still say your You opinion. want me to well, Okay. Yeah, you're still kind of I thought she was kind of um when I watched the movie, I was annoyed with her cuz I was like he's like you clearly were very close. You're you're as close as peas and carrots. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, and you just keep running off and like, he's defending you and like, you know, he's a little slow. So it's like, what the heck? Like you were so understanding with him growing up during the time of someone's life where they would be not as knowing to understand that. Right. Mm -hmm. And then she would always run off. And then I was reading something. I was, it was when I was trying to find the Abby Hoffman stuff. Cause like I said, I couldn't remember his name. Um, Mm -hmm. Someone said that the whole, her whole point was. She was trying to distance herself because she was, like, always going, like, getting brought down. Like, she was, like, she felt like everything she did was, like, cursed. Mm. And everything she touched, like, went bad. So she Mm. wanted to stay away from him to, like, let him be. Better. Yeah. I don't know about that. I don't either. That's somebody's analysis. (laughs) I think, yeah. And then. I mean. I can see both. I could see it, but. I don't know. We only see it in the eye from the eyes of Gump. Yeah. Forrest Gump. <laughs> right. But what about you two? You think he's selfish, Sam. Yeah, I mean she. I guess you feel for you obviously feel for her as a kid, right? Mm-hmm. Like she obviously went through some stuff. And yeah. I, honestly, like as an adult, she goes through some stuff too. But there's just something about the fact that she like comes back to him. That annoys me because it's like you basically like ran away from him like all the time when he was like just trying to help out. And like I get it like when you're a teenager and even when you're in college like you're kind of trying to figure yourself out. So like I give you a little bit of grace on that. But then like she's a full fledged adult and she comes back to him. Mm. And that to me is kind of annoying because it's like you know how he feels about you. So like to come back and then leave again. It's just like. That seems selfish to me, but the line you don't know what love is, Forrest. Yeah. Mm. But go ahead, Tim. What do you think of Jenny? Um, yeah, there's a lot of hate for Jenny. Um, <laughs> from you or just some, in general? I'm just saying in general. I think a lot of people actually hate her. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can't blame her for all of it, right? Right. Like it's hard to. She's a broken person, essentially, right? You see it a lot. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. she's very traumatized. Um. But at the same time, she kind of forces her safety blanket. Yeah. And she she comes back to him again, like you were saying, and it's kind of extremely selfish how she does it because mm-hmm. she knows she's like a safe place, whatever. He's going to help. He's going to take care of her. But she also knows exactly what he means to her or she means to him. Yeah. yeah. And and um, yeah, she uses him a lot, Um, I think. Uh Never for so his I, money, I, though. No, no, not is, in that way. But yeah. she, she, I mean, <clears throat> she uses him like as somebody which to is, help her. Mentally. I mean, I think she's still got. She's morally still somewhat sound, right? She's not there. She obviously knows she's not going to take advantage of his money. Like she, she knows he has money at one point, and he, she leaves, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, um, she could be a lot worse. Yeah, she could. Yeah, like, she everybody could acts be like a she's lot the devil, worse. and I'm like, she could be a lot I, I think lot. it's like she's fighting with the fact that she wants more of a normal life, and with him... It's not. It's, going it, to be. it wouldn't be normal in many aspects because of who he is. You know, he's got money and stuff like that. So I think she's trying to, like, make it on her own, 
and then she keeps running into pieces of shit and it's like that's why she runs back to forest but then he's also not normal so it's like she yeah. does she's i think she's just very conflicted in that manner and it's like you can't fully blame her for not wanting to be with forest um but at the same time you know who doesn't like forest so <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, there are kids that threw rocks at him throughout his childhood. This is true. Well, yeah, yeah. There's always those kind of people, but and there's a good um, amount of time Lieutenant Dan did not like him. I don't think that's true. I know he was just Lieutenant Dan clearly cared for Forrest. Um, oh yeah, he, he was again was just another <laughs> yeah com- another conflicted person, but he shows it. You know, at the one point where the hookers call him stupid. Yep, mm-hmm. and he's he flips out um but yeah i love lieutenant dan but uh dude yeah i i'm not a big fan of jenny but i also am not on the fence like the side that hates her i don't think she's an awful person i don't think she you know i think she uses him uh but to her own uh i don't know yeah selfishness i guess could you say that she's not an awful person but she's not necessarily a good person yeah, I feel like I morally used, gray. I feel like I used to hate her more when I used to watch this movie. Like yeah. now, you're kind of like I don't know. I guess you kind of mature and you're like, uh, she's not great. But I've seen a lot worse in other movies. Well, yeah, they totally could have written her a lot worse, but that doesn't. I I'm glad know. they didn't. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I don't know. There's hate for Jenny, and I think some of it's valid, and then I think some of it is just, you know, not getting some of it. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So Lieutenant Dan, I want to talk about him. This guy, yes. this guy, he loves his people, except he does, he wants to die with them all because, you know, every single one of his ancestors <laughs> yeah. died in the battlefield. Yeah. Which was <laughs> which is great. It's actually kind of fun. Like, it's a, it's not funny that people died, but it's a funny, like, he's upset that he didn't die in the battlefield because, like, there's honor in that. And, like, I feel like that's something that comes from the past um but at one point you can see he's holding rosary a rosary right Mm -hmm. i didn't see it but yeah i was like i didn't see it was it when they were like in the war i guess yeah in the war he has he has a rosary that his brother-in-law wore during the vietnam war oh so how wild is that yeah so interesting just thought it was interesting yeah what tim said Interesting, yes. yes. <laughs> what did you think of the ping pong stuff? He's real well, good at ping pong. Classic for, I mean, he's good. You know, <laughs> it's just classic forest. It's just keep your eye on the ball. So he quite literally gets does out. it. Yeah. There, in every scene that there's a ping pong ball with Forrest Gump, he doesn't blink. Oh really? Yeah, that's he's funny. Just staring he at never it. Never blinks. Yeah. Uh, but like during like the actual tournaments, the ball is CGI'd. No. They oh, just funny. so they just um told him to stare basically. <laughs> well, no, like all like the paddle hits, ah. the back and forth, but Bubba Gump Shrimp he ends up making that for his friend. Mm-hmm. It's so nice. It's a nice name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, when Lieutenant Dan rolls up to be his first mate, though, <laughs> and he, and he jumps boat. off. He <laughs> jumps <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, my. Wait, what's I happening to the boat? <laughs> yeah. I love how he says Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan! <laughs> it's like jumps off the boat. I love that so much. Yeah. And then I wrote, uh, I was writing, what the hell is going to happen to the boat? Like, where is it going? And then somehow, right. like, and then it, it, it crashes. Yeah. It crash. That's my boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Yeah. I actually would have backpedaled a little bit. Um, We're just going all over anyways. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> I, I just randomly had this thought. Uh isn't it weird that his mom let him join the military? I mean, kind I get the storyline and stuff, but it's like, wouldn't she have kind of maybe vetoed that a little bit, you think? He would have been 22. Yeah, but like... She was right there when he got she was he right would have, there. He would have listened to her. Exactly. Oh, that's true. In yeah. my opinion. Like, if she would have been like, Forrest, that's not good for you, he would have listened. <laughs> so that's very, I, you know, you never see her opinion on it. That's true. She's yeah. just proud of him or happy yeah. he's home. Right. Those are her opinions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I kind of thought that too. And she's like sitting right there. You'd think she would say like something about it, but like there's or like, there's not sure. <laughs> yeah. There's like not anything. It just kind of rolls into like now he joined the military and yep. 
you kind of feel like she would have an opinion because I feel like throughout the film she tries to like protect him quite a bit. But mm, yeah, understandably. Yeah. Yeah, she's <laughs> she's funny. She's the the whole ca- like I don't know. My husband's on vacation. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. oh what's well, vacation? <laughs> <laughs> oh, explaining things to children. Yeah, and then things that, I haven't had to do. <laughs> that scene where there's the principal or whatever, and he like goes to talk to Forrest, and he's just making like the sex <laughs> noises back at him. Him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Your mom really cares about your education. <laughs> Oh, oh geez, I I was almost scared that they were gonna be like, no, you can't go. Also, you have a first off, IQ tests are weird. They're not necessarily. They're not. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and like for public school, you have to take an IQ test. For private school, I could see you. You have to take tests to get into private schools. Mm-hmm. Right. But they're like placement tests. They're not IQ tests. Right. It's basically like, where would you go? Like, can you hit the bare? I guess technically, can you hit the bare minimum? But a lot of the ones I took were after I had already gotten in. And it was more like, oh, do we put you in algebra one or algebra two? And you take like a math placement test. You take like a Spanish placement test or whatever. Um, And I think colleges do that, too. They do. I had to take a French one. For like languages and stuff. So, yeah, I found that very odd. I was like, is this a thing of the past or is this a thing just in this movie where it's like, here's your minimum that you have to meet or, you know, to like attend school with everybody else. And then otherwise you have to go to some sort of remedial. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, that's very odd. But maybe. Maybe a thing back then. I don't yeah, know. I have no idea. We were not around then. Exactly. Right. <laughs> uh, but it it was odd to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you knew that Jen I was gonna give him his seat. Yeah, and then Baba. And then once he's on the boat, on the bus for the military, you knew Baba was going to. Yeah, <laughs> Baba. I find Baba hilarious. I think it's Baba's the, great. Yeah, all the shrimp jokes. I don't know. <laughs> and then Lieutenant Dan comments on his um lip, and if you watch, if you pay yeah, attention to him, <laughs> if you pay attention to him, um, Baba will at times just like randomly close his mouth. To hide yeah. his lip, mm-hmm. like in the back, like he won't be like a car- he's just on screen, but like he's not saying anything. That's right, just funny. but he tucks it in. Yeah, uh, I did enjoy um, the be- like military training stuff where Forrest was just weirdly good at everything. <laughs> like Forrest has always been slow, so he's not been outside of his speed, running speed. Mm. Yeah, being able to complete like building the gun and like how. Ha- Record time, and the fact that Bubba's still just talking about I think strip. that was more of a joke. <laughs> yeah, he's probably just going on. Yeah, doesn't miss a beat. Mm-hmm. I also uh, say that uh, Forrest Gump's superpower is actually luck. Mm, he's got a lot a, of luck yeah. involved Definitely. with things because <laughs> things just kind of like fall in his lap. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I was gonna say a lot of this movie is just about like a dude that's running. You know. Yeah. yeah I don't know much. if that's the joke on yeah. the internet, but I was like, damn. He just be like just just pretty much running. the whole time. He runs, yeah. <laughs> he runs so far away. Oh, I always forget one of my favorite quotes is uh something bit me. Oh, <laughs> oh something yeah. jumped, jumped off of the bit, bit me in me. the butt. It was a bullet, wasn't it? What? Oh maybe. <laughs> <bit> yeah. <laughs> that dude like, oh, that was a nice story, son. <laughs> right. And then, we've been sitting next to a millionaire the whole time. Yeah. Like clearly doesn't believe him. Would you like yeah, to see it's... Lieutenant Dan? <laughs> Pulls out a magazine. Like for, Was it like Forbes or something? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it was, it was like finance like or something. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Dude, Lieutenant oh. Dan on the sh- on the shrimping boat during the hurricane was a vibe. That was great. <laughs> I love that scene. I didn't realize. like So Sonny also does a joke about like in season two episode two or something where charlie's in the wheelchair and he yeah. like, dresses up like lieutenant dan yeah he does <laughs> i didn't realize how close to that costuming they kind of were now you know i uh, know <laughs> yep, now you know you're in the loop <laughs> i'm in the loop and they the way they did his legs by the way was he basically wore blue like blue leggings so that they could just cgi him out i was wondering hmm. i was like i wonder how they did that and that's how makes sense CGI in 1994. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was pretty good. You know, Jurassic Park came out the year before. Mm, yeah. That was some animatronics, though. In some ways, right. I feel like it was better. 
Oh my gosh, I miss it. Seen some pretty shitty CGI. I know. (laughs) Since then, like not from around that time. From like you talking about zombies? Yes. No man. But can we talk about how Forrest always wears uncomfortable clothing when he goes running? It Dude. takes him a while to get like he some does. shorts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's always in like khakis and button downs. I'm like, woof. That sounds rough. Yeah, that be. <laughs> the, so every time in the transition, it's a, he ages, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. In every transition, he's wearing the blue plaid shirt. I noticed that. Yeah. I don't think I noticed that like until kid. this watch. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's really well done. Yeah. He wears that a lot. I thought it was clever. Mm hmm. Yeah. I do have a beef. Oh, no. Far away. They are not truthful to the amount of bugs that are down Dude. here. <laughs> like, so or in Vietnam. Bugs. They should have had some bugs around. Dude, I was bit <laughs> so yesterday. Say, yeah. <laughs> That's all yeah, I'm going to Yeah, he should have described some bug <laughs> Or something, then. yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, just the fact that, like, when they're kids, him and Jenny are out, like, playing and stuff, you would think you would kind of, like, run into... Like some fireflies or something. I don't know. Right. But this is technically set in Alabama. Which also has a bug problem, oh, it I can guarantee. Does. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anywhere where it's hot and humid. Yeah. It is real. It is real hot and humid. Mm-hmm. They don't talk about the humidity at all. That's like the first thing you complain about. Mm-hmm. Not you as a person. Today. Like you, but like right. the general you. People complain about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I'm all out of notes. <laughs> Tim? Uh, you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant. <laughs> the, the classic, because he's like, I get my sea legs. Well, the, well Tim yeah. Dan, you ain't got no legs. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually like, yeah, he ends up being like, clearly he cares for him. Yeah. Oh, like, absolutely. He, uh, he could have easily taken advantage of him during the uh, the shrimp and business thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he basically Apple lets stock. him leave and just gives him money. Yeah. yeah. The Apple stock shit, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some fruit company. <laughs> yeah, he put money in for a fruit company. I don't know. I get money from him though. <laughs> well, and I will say, like I, uh, when I was younger, I didn't like Lieutenant Dan. Like I didn't get. I don't think really? I got how close they were. Oh, understood. Yeah. Like I just remember that he was like mean to him. And yeah. I, um, right. I could see that. Yeah, and yeah. so it's kind of nice, like on the rewatch older being because you actually get to see like how close they are and i was like oh mm-hmm. that's kind of a dick move that i like Luke Sam Dan. was just like an asshole as a child yeah, i was like well because he like i don't know you just remember when he was mean when you're younger at least yeah I right he's like making like just cracking jokes at them you're like oh this guy's just mean making jokes at him yeah well and like when i watched it when i was younger like i didn't watch a lot of war movies i've like just recently come around to those to be completely honest like in the past five years so like Mm. when i say there's parts of this movie that i don't remember it's mostly like the vietnam war scenes like i didn't really watch those as a kid i'd like pop out and then i'd come back for some of the other ones and i want to say like because it's so long like i feel like i'm like i remember him sitting on the bench that's in savannah yeah and then on chip in chippewa square shout out um (laughs) and then i remember like the scene in Washington D.C. and like some of the ping pong stuff, but I don't really remember anything else. So I really didn't remember like a solid chunk of this movie. So that was interesting to me. That shows where I guess I stopped when it was on TV. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The one big thing that I didn't remember was where he got his name from. Oh, That's yeah. The one big thing I never remember. Mm-hmm. It's just quite literally like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and I thought it was funny that they went the extra mile and they like put Tom Hanks in as like right. that yeah. <laughs> they went back in time again and changed yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't remember that either. I was like, damn. Yeah, All righty like, oh, then. Oh jeez. And then you're like, oh, it's in Alabama. Mm-hmm. Yep. Things add up. <laughs> yeah. Um, you got anything else? Nope. All right. So Forrest Gump, he's played by Tom Hanks. What? He's in Toy Story. Wow. What other films? Wait, he's guys? in two sto- Toy Story. <laughs> That's a good question. Probably um, Buzz Lightyear. Oh, he's Lightyear. Buzz. Yeah, definitely. Buzz Lightyear. He was Bo Peep, actually. <laughs> Bo Peep. <laughs> What's another movie, Sam? Go. Wait, do we, we each see him as different people. Like I see him as Woody. Sam, I would have assumed Catch Me If You Can. 
<laughs> Carl Hanratty. Um, for some reason, I have him stuck as as the guy from Elvis because that's the most recent movie I've seen him in. Oh, so weird. Yeah, I think I've seen that. No, it just came out in theaters. Yeah, like I think it's just because it's like, what was the most recent movie you saw Tom Hanks in? That's what my brain filed in. Tim's got cast away. <laughs> yeah, which is yeah. classic. He's like in everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He really is. I, I The other movie I would have guessed for Sam is You've Got Mail. <sighs> so I good. I that. Oh, man. <laughs> Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan era. A classic era. Of three films. Mm-hmm. So yeah, good. and you'll look at it and be like, that looks like Huey from The Boys. And you're like, probably, because it's his, that's his mom. Um, yeah. Je- Jenna Curran. Jenna Curran. I don't know how to say her last name. Also, I really loved that he bulldozed her old house. <laughs> I just thought of that, too. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> I bulldozed your house. Yeah, so good. Um, she, she's played by Robin Wright, and she is the princess bride in The Princess Bride. Oh shit, she is, isn't she? I did not realize that. I didn't until just this moment. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Because I was going to ask you, I'm like, is she in anything else? <laughs> yeah, she's actually in quite a few things, but I thought that one was interesting. Yeah, her name sounds familiar. Um, Lieutenant Dan is played by Gary Sinise, not pronounced Cincy, because I always forget there's an I in his name. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But yeah, he's actually on the board of the Beaufort Film Festival. Look at that. Oh. But yeah, he's in of mice and men. Makes sense for me. To I was me. wondering what else he was in besides this. He's in a this, few things. I feel like this is his iconic role. It is. He's actually after this movie, he ended up getting involved with veterans. Oh, nice. Huh. And has like fundraisers for them. Oh. And he's he's very well known for that, and like he continues to do stuff to this day. Nice. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Oh, uh, Mrs. Gump is played by Sally Field. She's in Steel Magnolias. I feel like she was popular. Like earlier, she before yeah. our time, basically. Yeah, like yeah. you remember how like everybody jokes about Aunt May and and Spider Man keep getting keeps getting younger and younger. Mm-hmm. She was she was Aunt May in the the Amazing Spider Man, right? Like the Andrew Garfield version. Ah, yeah. So it's it's kind of funny because like she is like the middle ground. Mm-hmm. Um, but continuing on, Forrest Junior. Premiering in his first film ever, really? Haley Joel Osma, Os, Osment. That would make sense. He's pretty tiny in this movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we completely cute. went past that, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They had a kid. Yeah. <laughs> in case I, you I, seen the film. I named him after yeah, his daddy. I totally forgot about that, but uh, I kind of. It's interesting that he's self aware in that moment. He's like extremely self aware because he's like, is he like me? Mm-hmm. or you know is he smart and you're kind of you yeah. feel really bad for Forrest for a second mm-hmm. yeah because like, you realize like he, he knows he's not yeah up to speed right um, anyway but yeah Haley Joel Osment he's so cute as a little <laughs> kid and, and I like him now like, too because he's like he, the funny he is chubby guy having a renaissance <laughs> yeah. Yeah. he has come back he is mesmer and he, he is doesn't mesmer. make that I see him as like the Silicon Valley guy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's a great role. Oh, so good. Uh, Bubba, Bubba Blue, or also known as Benjamin Buford Blue. I like mm-hmm. how, I just like that his middle name is Buford. Um, yeah. I know, weird, right? Mm-hmm. His, he's played by McKetty Williamson, and he's in the Purge election year. He's the guy, so that's the last one, Sam, you and I saw in theaters. It. Um, a guy has his own like little shop, and then they come to vandalize the shop. Oh. He's the owner of the shop. That's Bubba. Wow. I think. Uh, and then the school bus driver. Yes, she oh, looks familiar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Siobhan Fallen things. Hogan. So, yeah, she's like in Men in Black, but for some weird reason, she always, for, I don't even know if she voices the character, but she reminds me of the act, uh, the character in The Iron Giant. I think she like is on the radio. I don't know. There's, a, hmm. I'd have to like send you a picture to both of you. Hmm. I don't think I can transmit it via brainwaves these days. I feel like when hmm. I saw her, I was like, "This is not the first character where she's kind of like surly and grumpy." <laughs> like, no, she's she no. plays that character a lot. <laughs> like she, yeah, I was yeah. like, she's very like in my mind as that character, and it's not from this movie because I haven't seen that movie. This she's movie in Wayward much. Pines. Okay, so I'm just trying to think. I feel like she plays that role a lot. <laughs> yeah, she's um, the assistant to the sheriff in Wayward Pines. 
Interesting. I think that's what we want to call it. Or secretary. I don't really know. She answers the phone. She was probably grumpy. She was. <laughs> uh, the director is Robert Zemeckis. Oh. You know, he did a he did a small movie back in the 80s called Back to the Future. Mm-hmm. It did okay. Um, not everybody has heard of it or seen it. Um, but yeah, he did that movie. Don't know if you guys had heard of it. Back to the Future. Aware. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. What's a movie recently where, like, they they watch Back to the Future and they're like, that guy is, like, Stranger going Things. out with his mother? Oh, yeah. It was Stranger <laughs> Things, season three. And they're confused by it. Because they like, were still on their drugs, the oh, truth drugs. Nice. Steve and um, Robin were. Oh, yes. Classic. I was like, that was so funny. And then at the end, they're, like, trying to get a job at, like, Blockbuster or whatever. He's like, oh, and Back to the Future, love that one. Yeah, that's my favorite movie. <laughs> um, but yeah, this movie won six Oscars. Six. Let me see if I can think of some. Costuming. Dude, I didn't write this oh. down. Okay, never mind. I won't play the game then. Probably for <laughs> you music. You could have just said yes <laughs> yeah. for the first six Be- best, best, like, best, oh, okay. best, um, best actor was one. That makes sense. Probably yeah, directing. Probably adapted Music. screenplay. Mm-hmm. How much of these are right? I'm gonna pull it up right now. So we have I was say. best picture, oh, best director, best, picture. Nice. best actor, best adapted screenplay. Nice. Music. No. Oh. Ah, really? Best like film what? editing. Oh, that makes sense. And yeah, you guys are both. You're both gonna love this. Best visual effects. <laughs> Well, that's not shocking for the yeah, time. No. Like, <laughs> it was nominated for support. Um, Gary, um, Lieutenant Dan was for supporting, supporting uh, cinematography, art direction. This is art and set direction, which isn't one anymore. Best sound, best effect, sound effects, best makeup, best music. All of those were nominated. Ah, see, so we were in there, Tim, with our best music. Yep. <laughs> this would have been like one of those movies that when um. When you're like going through the list, because Sam and I always make, a, we always have a joking bet about who can guess more movies are going to win like Oscars. Uh, this is one that it's like, it's got so many, it's got to win like half of these. Yeah. <laughs> right. So we write them all down. Um, I don't have any other random notes. Oh, it won 44 other awards and was nominated for 75 others as well. Huh. So, so it was. That's a lot. It did all right. <laughs> now, I'm going to say something crazy. We're going to go in reverse order on okay. ratings. Okay. Audience gave it a 95%. Google with a 94%. Wow. Is that our highest Google? I mean, we have no, no idea. No, I think one of them is 96. High. Dang. Um, IMDb with an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Wow. Now, that is might be one of our highest. Now, here's the thing that confuses me. This movie is literally critically acclaimed. Like it won six Oscars. And it's gonna have a low mm-hmm. score for it, critics. It got a seventy-one percent by critics, and I'm like, the that's fuck not that high. Going? It never makes sense. It yeah. just does not. These numbers are made up. I yeah. think so because we've definitely had movies that have higher critic score than that. Oh, mm-hmm. that are not lots this movie. of movies. Yeah. lots of movies that haven't done nearly as well. And like, and when I say nearly as well, like Transformers. Great visual effects, yada yada yada. We talked about it recently, but like the plot isn't like necessary, not like next level plot. And like, right? The right. acting isn't like the next, like the best acting, and it's still a good movie. But that did well, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it probably has a higher critic score. Yeah, I don't know. It's that that one just baffles me. I wonder That's if, like, this would be interesting for somebody to do because it's a lot of work. But I wonder if, like critic scores were lower back in the day like if that was a good critic score but then i'm also kind of thinking like anybody could still submit to it right like on rotten tomatoes now so i'm also wondering if people just Mm -hmm. like bring it down because they're like it It doesn't live up to the hype or something like that all right let's go look at um zemeckis's other movie back to the future it got a 97 percent by critics i think it's pronounced zemeckis zemeckis i like zemeckis better though okay can you call him up? Let him know that he should do that now. Well, I'm just remembering, like the '90s trailers where they had the voiceover Robert guy. Zemeckis. Yeah, I feel like that's how it was pronounced, but I don't know for sure. I could be wrong. Tom Hanks is Forrest Gump. Exactly. 
Can we come back to that 2000s shit? Anyways, moving on. Go ahead, Tim. I said, please no. <laughs> what? <laughs> I like those trailers better than showing me like a five minute They're, trailer where you I show me the whole damn the movie. Whole movie. Yeah, no, I agree. It's I feel like I feel Netflix like trailers, trailers are way too long. Oh, those are the worst. I feel like trailers should have a rule that they can't show anything past the like twenty five percent mark. Let's let's not even put a number on it. Let's I mean like an actual hard number. Let's do a sliding twenty five percent through the movie. I like that idea, but I also hate when I get sit down to watch a movie and every single trailer moment is in like the first ten minutes. Because I'm I like, prefer that. I yeah. lit- like I like that in that you didn't spoil later in the movie, but I hate it because I'm like I literally just watched this like probably five minutes ago. It kills right. me when a character that like is um, starting off as like a villain, mm-hmm. and you see them in a tra- like in the movie they're a villain at first, but later on you see them working with. Like in the trailer, you see them working together. Yeah, where they like <laughs> reveal the big plot twist in the trailer. I hate that too. Or I'm not going to mm-hmm. say the Stranger Things spoilers, but like one character was questionable after part one of season four. Like it kind of just ends. You don't know what happens to him or her. And then season four, part two trailer just shows her walking around like normal. So you're like, well, I guess that person's okay. Yeah. 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 I know what you're talking about. So anyway. Yeah. Who's Trailer flipping this beef. on? Who's flipping this on? I'll flip it on. Why not? I'll go first. <laughs> I was waiting for <laughs> poor, poor brother made him wait however many years that I've been torturing this kid. He's a full-grown adult. <laughs> but I tortured him for too long. And I, I don't think – I'm going to make sure – I'm not going to, like, announce that I watched it to him. Right. Because he, do, not, he doesn't follow us because he's, he's rude and not supportive. <laughs> probably because you haven't watched Forrest Gump. Yeah, probably now not. you will. Yeah, no, oh, but oh. um, yeah, I, I don't want to tell him. I'm just gonna just go on with my life. Like I've never seen it, but mm-hmm. I've seen it, and I had a whole ep- hour long episode talking about it with you two. There you go. Yeah. All right, Sa- Sam. How about you? <sighs> I'm torn on this one because, like, I don't don't don. I feel like I'm going to say. Yes, but I'm going to caveat it with what you and I were talking about earlier, Tim, where it's kind of like you got to be in the mood for it Mm -hmm. and you got to be in the mood for certain parts of it. Like, I'm going to go back to the age old rule of like, if it was on TV, would I stop? And I would say like, yes, at certain parts, probably the parts I've already seen a lot of, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like there are certain parts where it kind of loses me a little bit because it's, you know, it, it can get lengthy. Right. What? <laughs> right. I feel like you have to be in the mood to like sit through the whole thing, but there's definitely some some quality stuff, and like I wouldn't say like, no, I'm never gonna watch this movie again because that's just not true. So I'm flipping it on. <laughs> Tim. Oh uh, yeah, same. Like I know countless times that it's been on mm-hmm. TV. I don't watch TV much anymore, so this was more back in the day. Exactly. Um, yeah. But I would, you know, it'd be on, and whoever was there would be like, "Oh, Forrest Gump," and we, you, you, you just leave it, it on. Yeah. Yep. Um, it's definitely you definitely have to be in the mood for a drama or whatever. But I think it is a must see for everyone. Mm-hmm. Um, it's pretty much always going to be pop culture. <laughs> I, I think, think so yeah. there's yeah. always going to be references that, like, like for you, Adam, you understood the references now, but they probably mean a little bit more to you now that you've seen it. Yeah. I, I think people need to see it because it's it really is just uh, a, a really good movie. Um, there, I think there's a little bit of something, or yeah, something for everyone. So, um, and it's not six hours long like I always said it was. No, it feels like it. It certainly feels like a long ass movie. I know. I think um, it's because it goes through so many transitions of his life. It's almost episode like an episode. I mean, like yeah, episodes. but like the the last thirty minutes. It feels like the movie's over, and then like the last thirty minutes is present time, mm-hmm. and you're like, yeah. "Man, this is taking forever." <laughs> yeah, that's that's always the drag for me. Like the rest of the movie kind of goes, and then it's the last thirty minutes. You're like, "Whoo, all right." I also but. wonder if it feels long because, like, if you stop during a cover, like if you stop when it was on TV, like they had to fit all their commercial breaks in, right? Yeah. So it's even like it's literally right. five so, like hours. probably the times you and I were watching it, Tim, like it literally was like a million. Oh yeah, hours quite long literally, it was on TV. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like now it's shorter, but it does still feel long in certain respects. But Adam, you were gonna say something? Okay, so 
You know how there's like we when we did Casablanca, it was mm-hmm. a movie that was considered untouchable. Do you think this movie is in that category? For a lot of people, yeah. Like mm-hmm. I don't th- I don't think they could remake this. Yeah. Not for a long time. It would it would require a lot of people to like be gone, I think. Yeah, and I think um it, it Tropic Thunder plays on that a bit. Um yeah, it does. where the yeah. where you know, he plays the one character and the like he went too far. Like I think that's something that would probably be an issue with it. I agree. Um I think the big part is how he's portrayed with Tom Hanks is is like that makes it kind of untouchable. Not that somebody else couldn't do it as well, but I don't know how you would remake this movie and you were like, it's it's not the same as being like, oh, okay, this guy played Joker. This guy played 007, right? Yeah. It's like, that's Forrest Gump. <laughs> like, this is fucking Forrest the, Gump. The, the, the sound, you know, his voice, how he acts, the sniff this, you know, his running, everything adds up to where you'd have to be completely different. You wouldn't be able to try to be him again. You You'd have to be a completely different person. You have to fully reimagine. Yeah. yeah. So I was just curious, throwing weird questions out these days. Yeah. 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 Like, because I think to me, like they could remake Taxi Driver, and I wouldn't be that offended. Yeah, that would be different, but yeah, but that one was also very critically acclaimed. Yeah, but I think that one, like, while a lot of people hold it dear, it's not. Yeah, they could remake it, and people wouldn't. I mean, yeah, I mean you, could, you could modernize that one. Yeah. Not Robert De Niro. What the fuck? Um, that was Robert oh De Niro. God. Yeah, Robert De Niro. Blah, blah, blah. I was picturing was Leonardo like... DiCaprio when I said that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, mean... I was like, that's not the <laughs> wait, right wait, name. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait. Um, he's like, great. I love him as an actor. But again, he's not in the same category as like Forrest Gump. Like mm-hmm. he's not the guy, right? I don't even yeah. know the guy's name. Uh, yeah, exactly. So that that would be a much different portrayal. I almost said the wrong done. name. I almost said Tyler Durden, and I was like, that would be Fight Club. <laughs> yeah, very similar type of character, though. Psychotic, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, but moving on to next week, I I sorry, I asked a question that took a little longer at the end. That's I was funny. just curious about it. But let's spin this bad boy for Sam next week. <laughs> Sam's supposed to be commentating. Oh. Because <laughs> my mouth has to be away from it. Yeah, but you're covering the phone. <laughs> All right. So, Tim, in the next coming week, Sam's going to either have to adapt or die. Oh, another adapted <laughs> screenplay. Yep. Indeed. Interesting. So, yeah. All right. Well, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Nailed it. I know. Thank you. Then take a bow. <laughs>